Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Today we're going to be reviewing this two-person tent. Uh, I have spent weeks looking for just the right tent. I know there's a lot of options out there on the market, and I think I found the one that I'm really liking. Um, so I wanted to share this with you here. Uh, here it is. Let's unroll it, and we'll do a visual walkthrough together. Should you be interested, by the way, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, you can check that out if you want to pick yourself up one. Um, but here it is. Right off the bat, I'm noticing pretty high-quality materials. You know the feeling when you open something and it just feels cheap. Well, this is definitely not the case. Now, this is a very lightweight tent. Um, the total package is about 5-something pounds, so 5.2, I believe. Um, and you can verify all these uh, weights, and I'll give some measurements here as well. Um, if you click on that link down there, uh, you'll be taken to the, uh, the description page. Here's a look at the tent poles. They are aluminum and have a nice, classy orange finish to them. And here are the tent stakes. Um, pretty high quality aluminum. Uh, nothing fancy, but definitely looks like they can dig into the dirt there. And um, they're, they're pretty sturdy. They don't bend. They're, they're thick enough. Now here is the tent laid out. You can see it's rectangular in shape. The exact dimensions are 86 inches long and 48 inches wide. Now if we take a look at the ends, you can see it's got, they've got these plastic clips and then little metal holes. Um, the plastic clips are for you to attach the rain fly, and we'll put that on at the end of the video here. Um, oh, there's a look at the zipper real quick, um, and we'll actually unzip it together once we get the tent up here. Let's just do a little visual inspection, make sure everything is good before we put the poles up. Now we're going to assemble the poles. Now check this out. Watch how quickly these poles suck together. Do you see that? Uh, this is a great feature about the poles, the, the elastic inside, it's almost as if it's magnetized. The elastic inside is taut and tight and keeps those poles really strongly connected together. Um, and that's something I really appreciated when I was setting up the tent. Now, the poles, they, obviously the ends fit into the little uh, metal uh, rings as shown, and then we'll actually clip the plastic clips on to the tent itself. Now, I really like the type of tent that you that does not have to put the pole through any type of fabric. Um, I've owned tents like that before, and it's incredibly annoying. I've torn the fabric on a tent, um, and uh, I just like this simple clip fashion. And it also has an added benefit of keeping the rain fly separate from the actual tent, which I think helps with moisture, and, and I'll show you and uh, mention that again here later. But um, this is what it looks like going up. It's a really simple matter of just taking those poles, there are two of them total, and you just clip them on as shown. And once you've got one pull up with the, everything clipped, oh, you can kind of see it, it fell down there. Obviously, the, we need the other pull um, up before it's able to stand on its own. And because I'm holding the camera, I'm going to uh, hold down the tent with one foot and put the, uh, the second pull in its respective holes and then... Uh, you can see the clips right there. They just clip up again like the first pole onto the um, poles. Pretty simple concept, right? And so on and so forth. All right, so now we have both poles up and everything's clipped on. You can see everything's nice and taut. Here's a, a look at the zipper in the door. Now, I do appreciate how far off the ground the door is. That account makes sure uh, moisture and mud and stuff uh, can't sneak in there at all. And we've got a, a co pretty quiet zipper. And here's a look underneath at the inside. We'll take a better look later here. Now, one thing that's really cool about this tent, it has two, it's a two-person tent, but it has two doors. And the door's pretty much open all the way. Um, so that's kind of what it, what it looks like. So you don't have to crawl over the other person to get out of the tent in the middle of the night. You have your own access door. Now, I also love that uh, the tent, pretty much at the top, is all see-through. So on a really starry night, you're able to lay there without the rain fly on and look up at the stars. Now this little thing is kind of a little shelf that comes built in. Um, it's got four connecting points, and they kind of slip in, as shown here in the video. And those are nice and secure. So once all four of those are on, you can see there's a shelf right there that you can put your wallet or your phone in. The floor is waterproof and seems pretty high quality. However, I'm definitely going to want to put a mat um, underneath there. If you're just sleeping on the bare ground, the, the floor is pretty thin. 
Here's a better look at the corner. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of looking here to make sure that there are no holes, that it's all kind of one piece and that the stitching looks nice and neat. It, it also comes with these little um, side components for, again, if you want to put, you know, a, a, a flashlight or something in, there's, there's some side storage built in. Now taking a look at the zipper again, the manufacturer claims that this is a stick-free zipper and um, as long as it stays taut, I don't see how the, the zipper can snag, which is a nice feature. It's also very, very quiet, which is um, a plus. So I mentioned that the tent is incredibly lightweight. It's 5.2 pounds total. So here it is. You can lift it easily with one hand. Um, and next we're going to put on the rain fly, but first let me go back to the original supplies. That strap right there that you just saw comes with everything that um, wraps up the tent when you're all done with it. Um, which is a nice little thing. Now these are tie downs for the rain fly themselves. Um, so you're going to have an extra level of security. And here is the rain fly. So we'll get this up and go. Now I really like the application of the rain fly. You just throw it over so you don't have to thread anything. You just literally toss it over. And it, uh, by the way, the rain fly comes with these little vents, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, but you, you throw the rain fly over and um, you can see it just complete, pretty much covers the entire tent. Uh, and you secure it through these little plastic straps that we saw earlier on the corner by where you put the, um, the poles. And, and then, so after you snap all those in and tighten them up, you've got this really secure, really snug fit, a very comprehensive fit of the rain fly over the tent. And this is one of the reasons why I like the, this particular tent is because the rain fly just covers everything. And we'll take a better look here in a sec. So after the rain fly, all four corners are snapped in with the buckles. You can pull them tight. The rain fly is properly secured. Now, if I'm outside, I'm gonna take some tent stakes and I'm gonna just actually pull that snug and put the tent stakes right there um, onto the, those little um, tie down things. Now the vents I mentioned that are built into the rain fly, this is a really nifty feature and one that I've not seen uh, on a tent before. Um, I'm sure they exist. They're probably a dime a dozen, but um, this was pretty neat. So it's got this little pop-up vent system. So if you don't need it, you can pop them down, and if you do, you pop them up. Here's a look at the zipper that comes with an additional layer of Velcro. Now, a feature often overlooked, in my opinion, um, in terms of a tent, is um, the tents that have the, the pole that goes through fabric, that's a disadvantage as opposed to a pole that has these plastic clip-ons. Can you see that? There's a separation that happens between the, the rain fly and the tent fabric itself. In other words, when the poles are kind of hanging far from the tent, the rain fly, when pulled really taut, um, actually creates, there's a gap in between there of air that I think helps make your tent a little more secure in the event of extreme rainfall. Um, as well as condensation, right? So the the uh, the rain fly, the the actual door to the rain fly, you can fold it up and then secure it as shown. So it kind of looks like this when you don't need the rain fly but still want to have it attached, which is, I think, pretty cool looking and practical at the same time. Now, if we of course walk into the tent, this is maybe what you've been waiting for. Um, what does it look like from the inside? There are the vents that come into the, in the, with the rain fly. And you know, it's a, it's a nice looking two person tent, pretty narrow. So if you're looking to squeeze in four people or three people, you're gonna have a challenge. Um, it fits an adult and two kiddos quite nicely um, or two adults. So here it is, we have a really nice quality tent, uh, very lightweight in nature. So if you like to backpack, I think this tent is gonna be for you. Personally, I bought this for myself and my daughter so we can go camping in our backyard and um, it, it looks incredibly waterproof. I'm really happy with the quality of it. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Thank you so much.